We're in chapter seven, The Uncompromising Coach by Ryan Limbaugh. And the, and the title of this chapter is Trust God. We're gonna look at 1 Samuel chapter nine, verses one through chapter 10, verse 27. And I just kind of want to sum up, in my, from my view of this chapter, what I think God might be saying. And it's in a verse. It's actually two verses. Out of Psalm 84, verses 11 and 12. And it says this, The Lord God is a sun and a shield. He gives grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly, because he trusts in thee. What a promise that is. I mean, you can't beat that promise. There's no athletic director. There's no, uh, you know, owner of a team or superintendent or, or board of directors. Whoever's hiring and firing you, coach, they could not give you a better promise than that. Nobody can. Imagine that. God says, I promise to you that if you walk with me uprightly, you will not, I will not withhold one good thing from you. Man, that is an incredible thing. Can you trust the Lord God with your win-loss record? Coach, can you trust him with your career? Do you really believe this promise? Really, this is what the nation of Israel had to discover. This is what King Saul needed to understand, and he didn't. He, his problem was he was trying to play God. At the same time, he was trying to trust God, and it just doesn't work. You have to relinquish everything. It's hands down. Let the gravity come off. Anything that you're hanging on to with your career, with, with your physical life, with your family, with everything, can you not put that all in the hands of God? Can you not trust him with it all? And coach, a coach who has that kind of trust for God will not be withheld from any good thing that God has called him to have. Whether it's a win-loss record, whether it's career, man, that's exciting. That's the only way to receive all that you're supposed to receive.